Hello students, welcome back to another lesson online. Um, I decided to talk about triangles because based on the data from the assessment yesterday, um, many students had issues answering questions about triangles. So let's briefly go over the basics of triangles. Hopefully that will you know help us understand better. So when you complete the template, the section about triangles, a, a polygon with three sides, Triangles can have two names. One name is going to be based on the sides that I have right here. And the other name, the second name or the last name, as I call it, is going to be the angles, based on the angles. So two names, at least two names, one based on the sides, the other one based on the angles. What you need to remember is that equilateral means equilateral, three equal sides. All the sides are equal. Isosceles means at least two equal sides and a scalene means no equal sides so you have three equal sides at least two equal sides and then no equal sides that's the name by the sides by the angles we have acute triangle which is a triangle with three acute angles obtuse triangle that's a triangle with at least one obtuse angle and then a right triangle which is a triangle with one right angle so we're going to use this template to help us classify triangles but let's talk about the sides first of all so in mathematics when you draw for example this j which is a rectangle it's back to a square uh, when you're solving problems like with the square how do you know that the four sides are equal so typically in mathematics what we do is we trace a line like this one right here you see this here and here this line has a meaning, and the meaning of that line is that all four sides are congruent. That means that they have the same length. So there is no question, there is no doubt that uh, each side has exactly the same length. Let me give you another example. If I draw this, not this one, if I draw this rectangle right here, I know that the opposite sides are equal. Well, that's going to be one line, one line. These two opposite sides are congruent, but then the other ones are not congruent. So I'm going to do two lines. So basically what I'm saying right here is that these two lines are congruent, the opposite, the parallel lines, and then these two lines are congruent. And then if you have a third line, then we'll use the three lines. But that's what that means. And then we're also going to use that to help us understand triangles. So let's look at this example right here. We have a triangle that has two congruent sides, two equal sides. This one is different. And then we have a right angle right here. So what is the name of this triangle? Let's start off with the side. So does it have three equal sides? No. Does it have two equal sides? Yes. Does it have th no equal sides? No. Does it have uh, three ac acute angles? No. Does it have one of two angles? No. Does he have a right angle? Yes. So the name of this triangle is isosceles right or right isosceles, as you prefer to call it. Let's try the next one. Here we have congruent, congruent, congruent. All three of them are congruent. Let's see. Does he have three equal sides? Yes. Does he have at least two equal sides? Yes. Does he have no equal sides? Out of here. Does he have at least or oh, three acute angles? Yes. Does he have one obtuse angle? No. Does he have one right angle? No. So the name of this triangle is going to be equilateral triangle. Equilateral isosceles acute. Oh, this is the only triangle that has three names actually. So memorize it. Look at this one right here. I have no congruent sides at all. So, does it have three equal sides? No. At least two equal sides? No. Does it have three or no equal sides? Three different sizes? Yes. Does it have three acute angles? No. At least one or two angle? Yes. One right angle? No. So, the name of this triangle is scalene obtuse. There you go. Let's try this one right here. I have two congruent sides. I can see that. That one is different. All right, let's see. 
uh, does it have three equal sides? No. At least two congruent sides. Yes. No. This is out. Three acute angles. Yes. One obtuse. No. One right. No. So the name of this triangle is isosceles acute. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Let's go ahead and answer a couple of questions for practice. Bye.